first you gotta sniff the box. Then you gotta look at the box. <clears throat> then you gotta eat the box. <laughs> <laughs> What's, What's up, up Alfonso Nation? Nation? Alfonso Peterman. And I'm Tony. And Tony, my stepsister, is here, special guest. And welcome to another episode of Teletran Unboxings. That's right, baby. You know, I just gotta tell you guys, first of all, let me just let you know, uh, Teletran Unboxings was designed not to unbox only Transformers, but basically whatever I want to unbox. Any figure from any universe that I want to basically crack open and check out. And this is one of those videos where we step away from the Transformers franchise for a second to check out something really cool from the DC Universe. Now, before we begin, as you guys already know, I've already given the hint on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, what are you doing with your life? You need to change it, like immediately do something better. <laughs> but before we get into that, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite, if not my ultimate favorite, DC hero from the DC Universe. Right. And that is Aquaman, baby, that's right. I saw the Aquaman movie like six times already. It is <laughs> one of the greatest films in the DC history. I am a super fan of this movie. People can say what they want. They can criticize if they want. I love it. And uh, do you have a favorite uh, DC hero or anything? Oh, uh, my favorite DC hero, it has to be Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, now that's it, a good that's, pick. That's a great DC hero. Cause yeah. We got Batman, we got all types of stuff, but Wonder Woman is personally yeah. my favorite, so. 100%, no, she is a phenomenal, uh, uh, she's a phenomenal addition to the DC universe in general. Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Batman are, are top of the list. Iconic. I went to the store. While I was there, I came across this collectible that literally be made me shooketh. And it is this gallery. Uh, it's from Diamond Selection Aquaman. This yep. thing, first of all, it's massive. Very Can we start there? Um, it's not it, It's not even anywhere near a deluxe class or Voyager class. If I had to rate it, it might be in the leader class genre because of how large of a scale it is. Aquaman is here and he looks phenomenal. So I was like, you know what? I don't care how expensive it is. I have to get it because he's my favorite, favorite DC hero. And so here it is. So before we get into it, I'm gonna get into the shout out. Uh, the person that won, um, I did not give a hint for this one because there's only a few DC heroes to pick from. You know, Transformers, there's like tons of Autobots, tons of Decepticons, uh, tons of Constructicons, and just all kinds of stuff. So it's easier to give a hint when it's such a wide variety. But for this one, there's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six heroes to pick from. Literally. And within seconds of me posting this, the Mad Titan Thanos 18 <laughs> on Instagram, you won. Thank you for uh, following me, being an Alfonso. Thank you for your support. And thank you for being a very fast guesser. Because let me tell you something, this is something that I just, I just, I just, wow. It's just the speed. You guys are really quick with this. So anyways, enough with that. I'm going to get into the unboxing before we do, because this is the first DC unboxing, I'm gonna get into the packaging, show you what it looks like. So there he is, Aquaman, you get to see the name, you see all of the badges of all of the DC heroes, and you get to see him showcased in his utter and utmost glory with his trident, and with, and he's like on this rock with the waves behind him, and he's in his full-on suit with his wind blowing in the hair. You got the Justice League logo DC, and then you have, uh, this is the gallery. On the side, you got Aquaman, and it's kind of the same thing. You get to see like a side view of it and on the other side as well. Moving on into the back, it shows you an up close and personal view of what the other figures you can get will look like, such as Superman, The Flash, Batman, I think it's Cyborg, that's his name? I forgot his name, and Wonder Cyborg. Woman. It is Cyborg, yeah. And you get to see another view of Aquaman and there's a description. I'm gonna read the description real quick, real quick, and we're gonna get into it, all right. So the description says, fueled by his restored faith in humanity and inspired by Superman's selfless act, Bruce Wayne enlists the help of his newfound ally, uh, Diana Prince, uh, to face an even greater enemy together, Batman and Wonder Woman. Work quickly to find and recruit a team of metahumans to stand against this newly awakened threat. But despite the formation of this unprecedented League of Heroes, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, that's his name, right, and The Flash, it may already be too late to save the planet from the assault of, a catas of catastrophic proportions. 
and it says about the figure, this nine inch scale PVC diorama of Aquaman is based on his appearance in the feature film Justice League and was sculpted by Rocco Tartamella. I mean, absolutely phenomenal and stuff. This is all like, uh, yeah. Once in a lifetime collector's edition. Once yeah. you get these, I think by next year it'll be sort of rare. It might, I mean, yeah, I mean, at some point they're probably gonna stop distri distributing this in the stores, and yeah. so. Uh, uh, the guy at the store actually said most people who buy them, they, they don't even take them out of the packaging because they leave them pristine and sealed, so I guess that increases the value over time. Yeah. But I'm the kind of person, when I get a figure, I want to display the figure. Yeah. I want to see it <laughs> when I walk in. Right. We're going to get into the unboxing, take him out. I'm actually really excited because when I saw this in the store, it was actually, I mean, I took, like, it took me like five minutes to get it down because the guy didn't want to help me. It was like way up high, so I'm like climbing on top of other figures, trying to like <laughs> get my fingers to get it down once I got Were it down. Were you doing that while I was looking at vinyls? That's what I was doing. Oh God. Yeah, she was looking at vinyl records and I'm like trying to get this Aquaman down <laughs> just to check it out. All right, I am, I am, I'm shaking. I'm, I'm like, oh my shaking gosh. Shaking any timbers? I just, ever since I saw the Aquaman movie, it's just like, oh boy, man, I want to see this thing. First, you got to sniff the box. Then you gotta look at the box. <clears throat> then you gotta eat the box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I'm already like freaking out. Cause I know when you take them out of the packaging, it's like super, super cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. I do not know what I got myself into. Now, another thing about these figures, guys, just for the note. Um, when you open these, you can't return them. So, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just, I'm canceling my own return policy. Like, once you open them because they're collector's items, you can't bring them back. It's, it's yours, you might as well keep it or you'd have to sell it third party, but you won't be able to bring it back to the store anymore. Oh my God. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Other. Lord, this is... Oh boy, now he did warn me that um, it doesn't move, it doesn't articulate, it's a statue. It's not really a figure, I call it a figure, but it's really just a statue. It's like a little mini statue of Aquaman. So here is a view of the glorious Beautiful. Aquaman. Look at this trident, super, super cool. I'm you will like, actually have to see this in person. To really understand. Yeah. And this is, he had that, that classic belt. Look at the armor, and looks just like Jason Momoa. And he has, he comes with this like rock. He just stands on a rock and there's a water splashing. Absolutely spectacular. I mean, it's so accurate from beginning to end. And what I like about it is that like, see how Transformers, there's so many parts, so many like metallic pieces, they have to get right, so much detail to get right. But this is just a human being. Well, this is like the figure of a guy. So it's not really hard to get. Just make sure you get the detail and the armor, and you have a nice, you know, like his his signature weapon, the, the, the buffness, and the face sculpt is accurate. But all this matches. It's absolutely spectacular, absolutely perfect. Um, the only thing I, the only, the only downside is that it just it can't move. That's it. But like, if you have this position somewhere, it it serves as a great background. And I think the like the rocks and the water splashing gives it that extra advantage. It just gives you an extra uh, display piece. It's almost like how Studio Series they have the background. Well, for this, this has like the actual ground that yeah. he's standing on. So he's standing on this rock, and he is the king of the seas, the ocean master himself. I would have also have liked if they would have. Uh, Given him the golden armor that he had in Aquaman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, when he became the Ocean Master. But I do understand that this is from Justice League. It's not from the Aquaman movie. So I get it's probably not going to have that yet. Because this never happened in Justice League. And taking a look at the feet. I mean, the boots and everything. Just all the way around Aquaman is just absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. Um, it's actually not that heavy. It's actually pretty lightweight. If you want to give it a shot, you can. I mean, it's not really as heavy as I would imagine. Um, yeah, the rocks are actually, it's, it's, it's actually hollow underneath. Let me see underneath it. Yeah, so that's how it looks underneath it. It's just like a hollow. So it actually makes it very easy to, you know, transport, package around if you're moving around. But I'm gonna rate them on a scale from one to 10. 
because the face sculpt is such a big part of it because it's a human being and you don't really have to have all these mechanical pieces everywhere it's just you have to have a nice armor great paint job nice bronze a nice darker green uh paint job for his 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 armor and he has the signature Aquaman logo on his belt buckle and on the back. I'm gonna have to just give this guy a 10. I'm not even, like, seriously, because there's there's nothing wrong about it. <laughs> I mean, if I had, like, a little, like, oh, this should be better, this should be better, I don't think anything's wrong about it. I do wish it was, you know, he had articulation, you can move him, but that's not the purpose of this. This is meant to be a statue. If you had to rate the figure, what would you give it? And be honest, what you do you think? You might be mad. Okay. Okay. Go for it. No, Your go for it. Your might be mad. I want the honest opinion. I will rate this 7.5. 7 All my reason, okay. because I watched the movie. Movie is fantastic. Yeah. Definitely a recommended movie to watch. Yeah. Um, but one, the eyes. Okay, so the shape of the eyes yes. is really off. Yeah. Which is, you know, okay. Well, right. It's whatever. No. But, you know, yeah. but if you look closely, somebody was like, "Oh, okay. Well, never mind." Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> never mind about that. <laughs> yeah, like the face, I absolutely love it. Um, it actually depicts his face in the actual movie, which is nice. Oh, another thing. Yeah. I wish he had the same costume he had when he actually got the trident. Oh, the, uh, the, I, the 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 ocean master. Yes, I would, that was gorgeous. That would have been nice if they put it to like if they put it on him and actually make a sparkle or glow, something like that. It it would have gave me straight shots of Tim. It is actually kind of cool. So yeah, one hundred percent. Well, I appreciate the you know the honest rating. Um, people see things I don't. People see like details that I may miss, yeah. and that may influence the rating differently. I, I, I'm just the kind of person, I look at the overall aesthetic, I don't dissect it, but it's good to dissect it too because some people, they prefer uh, specific details to be different. So that will influence rating. I look at, you know, just the overall, like, the vibe it gets off and, yeah. you know, the details are pretty accurate for the most part. I kind of give it a good rating for the most part, but it's good to have that critical, uh, in-depth appearance, not appearance, but like, um, critique, critique yeah, yeah, kind of like, uh, just to kind of give a more in-depth feeling of what uh, the details, the small minor details and how they influence overall appearance of the figure. Anyway, that was a very long thing I just said. Uh, <laughs> she is going to be going back to her home. Yep. Uh, she lives like, what, two, two and a half to two, three hours away? Yeah, two and a half. So uh, she actually came down for the Easter weekend to visit us, which was pretty cool. She'll be heading back. So I said, you know what, we gotta do this video. We gotta unbox Aquaman. We gotta do this. So it's a family tradition. Yeah. And yeah, so it's nice having a found with Peter as yeah. a brother. <laughs> Once in a lifetime, one in a million. Do you have any like social media, anything you want to plug for them to follow, for them to, for them to follow you wherever you go with? So if you want to follow me on my social media, um, if you're into gaming, I'll be starting a gaming channel very soon. Okay, cool. Look forward to it in the summertime. Um, but it's Nash Tech Gaming. So that right. is the Twitter right here, somewhere on the screen, Nash Tech Gaming. <laughs> Go follow that account, and if you're a fan of the Foster Piedman, just DM me. Y'all go follow her and show her some love and support. Hope you guys had a happy Easter. Thank you for 12K. Uh, happy uh, Earth Day. <laughs> happy Aquaman Day. I don't Treat know. Treat the Earth right. Treat it right. 10 years left. That's right. Okay? Oh, my God. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so we have a deadline now? <laughs> yeah. They actually put out a deadline. We have so a deadline. 10 so years. the Earth is going to end. It's pretty soon. 10 years. No. Yeah. So live your life to the fullest. So I hope we have another Transformers movie until then, you know. Oh, God. But anyways, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, slam dunk, body slam, punch in the face the like button for me if you don't mind. And anyways, thanks for watching. This is your Epic Unboxer. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. I'm legit putting that figure right there. I'm going to move that picture, and I'm going to put him right there. Shayster? <laughs> He's very embodied. He does not... Shade is like the most chill and zen bird I've ever seen. As soon as you get a finger close to him? <laughs> what? See? Yeah. <laughs> he's he's like, like, he's like, leave me alone. Don't, don't you do it. I will snap it off. <laughs>